Hello guys, this is Ashish Gupta. Today we are going to see uh, how to post message to AWS Q, that is SQS, and uh, we are also going to see simple notification service destroyed by AWS. So we will try both the scenario. We will try to consume the message and we will try to post it. So whatever listener we are going to implement, it will continuously listen the messages whatever you are going to post on that queue and also we are going to see how to subscribe the uh, simple notification service by the sqs simple queue service ok so let's start with example so i am using these two dependencies this is i want uh, for java x thing so and this is for AWS uh, uh, library SDK, AWS Java SDK libraries. So I have created a simple queue, test queue. I will post message here, so that is going to consume here. So for that, what I have done, I just uh, provided all this my secure credential my configuration file. And I am just using basic auth, basic AWS credential, and just connect them to the queue by just creating message consumer. This library is provided by your Java XJMS. And uh, we are just setting this listener to this listener, which will continue listening your messages by starting this connection. It will continue to receive the message. Or also, you can specify for uh, uh, how much. I mean, like oh, for one millisecond, one second span time, it should listen. So this test listener implemented a message listener. So here it will continue listening your messages. Okay, let me run this example. Yeah, connection happen now. So let me post some messages. So I just post a message and I just got it here. So whenever we are going to post message in this queue, so it will con connect continuously listen those messages. So so you are able to see we are able to see our messages here. Now second thing is let me stop this one. This is our produce. It is same as consumer only, but in place of message consumer, we are going to create message producer here. We are just forming some sample message here, text text message. This also we are getting from Java X JMS library only. We are just uh, forming that message using text message class, and we are just sending the messages using our producer object let me run this example so we will be able to see so now connection got successfully connected and message also sent with the id so this is message sent so let me check So let me start pulling the messages. Yeah, we just just now got the messages posted from message Java SDK. So our consumer is also working and producer is also working. Now let me try one more example. Yeah, so here I have a sample topic that is basically your uh, SNS service of AWS I am using. I just created one sample topic here. Um, let me subscribe with the queue 
this topic so then topic reason topic you have to select this one uh, yeah just subscribe it to this queue yeah successfully subscribe okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to post message here and i'm going to publish that message here so there are different kind of message you can post your subject suppose uh, test message raw json form whatever you can describe hey i'm great So if I send this message now, what we have to do, we have to start our this consumer again. It is stopped actually, I stopped that time. So I started my consumer class again. So it is start listening your messages. So this is our last message that we posted from our this program test message producer. Now now let me post again new message using SMS. Oh, I'm publishing this message. Yeah, so we got the full form message, a full legend, all the, with all all the information. Notification. This is our message content subject, and this this is here. So what we have do now? We have posted my published message to our notification service. From there, it came to queue. From queue, now we are listening to the queue. So we are getting messages here. So these are the very Good services provided by AWS. We can consume easily, and we can produce messages for outage management. All the same, so we can use. So that's it for this tutorial. Please keep watch for next one.